Okay, so as I explained in earlier videos, I want to get back into drawing. And one of the main reasons is I just think it would be awesome to be able to create my own art for use in my videos or thumbnails and yeah, just to create my brand a little. I also want to attract people to this channel who are not repelled by cute stuff. So I think it's really important to show a lot of cute drawing stuff. I'm excited to dive in and since I loved it as a kid as well, this shouldn't be too hard. At first I experimented with different pens in Clip Studio Paint. I've tried different brush sizes and stabilization. Did you know stabilization was a thing? Man, when I discovered this, it's been a godsend. Anyway, at one point I discovered this right combination of brush size and stabilization and I instantly fell in love with it. I really love drawing these thick lines, but uh, honestly I'm still sometimes a bit shy with it, but with practice that will be okay. I love drawing faces and emotions, so that's what I started out with, but it was a bit rough, rougher than I expected, and I started to doubt myself a little, and I expressed that <laughs> in my drawings, and damn, this, this is actually not as simple as I thought uh, and I started to doubt myself more but then I was like calm down Ruben relax it takes practice and so I drew myself <laughs> meditating or at least as far as I am able to which kind of frustrated me that I can't even draw myself meditating so that didn't really help so I just started drawing random lines because for some reason that helps me calm down a little I then realized, okay, clearly I can't draw from memory, so maybe I should try tracing something. So I took something that GPT generated that I liked and I started tracing, but I didn't like how small and tedious I was drawing. I like doing big strokes and this was definitely not it. So I stopped right then and there. Then I told myself, maybe it helps if I do a little sketch first. But no, definitely not. Clearly I don't know how human faces look. Like, this is more like a duck. I started going a little crazy. So again, I expressed myself in my emotions because I felt like that relieved some tension. I was like, ah, I can't even draw simple faces. What's wrong with me? And then I was like, okay, new approach. I'm gonna take an extremely easy drawing and I will try to draw that from memory. At first I traced it and I was like, okay, I got that. Now let's remove that and try to draw it again without seeing it. And I failed and I was like, okay, I compared and then I tried again and then I failed again and again. This was starting to get to me. I was getting really frustrated. I was like, how hard can it be to draw a simple face? Jesus. So I became kind of sad and I binge watched a bunch of drawing videos, which hopefully would make me feel better. And you know, they kind of did. They showed me different ways of drawing. There's really no one way to draw. Most importantly, they told me it's okay to draw directly from reference. I don't have to come up with the image from my head, especially if I haven't drawn in quite a while. They told me it's okay to suck. And I thought, okay, if I'm gonna suck, I might as well enjoy it. So I took a screenshot from one of my favorite characters and tried to keep it as simple as possible. And even though I didn't create anything original, I really enjoyed this. I wasn't planning on coloring, but I felt like it. And once I did, wow, I felt extreme joy. I surprised myself with that. The drawing was finished and I was so proud of myself. I didn't realize a drawing could make me feel that, especially one which I drew based on reference. This made me realize that drawing isn't a frustrating experience, or at least it doesn't have to be. It's just that my method made it so. So yeah, in the future, I'm definitely not gonna be hard on myself from drawing of reference, especially when I'm still learning. I think the hardest part of drawing will not be the skill I have to learn from practicing a lot. I think the hardest part will be 
emotional. It will be me being too hard on myself and giving up. So even if I draw stuff and I don't learn much from it, I think it's more important that I enjoy it. So I actually don't quit.